kings and queens welcome back to my channel we are on day two two turtle doves so we are on back on uh day two and we will be in isaiah chapter six verse six through seven if this is something that you would like to listen to and watch please continue so it reads my brothers and sisters then on one of the seraphim flew to me with a live coal in his hand which he had taken with tongues from the altar with it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. Amen. So let's go down here to scripture. What part of the scripture that stood out to me was guilt is taken away. Once you repent your sins and give it to the Father God and believe and have faith, it is gone. It is perished. God took that away, okay? You can start over. Start over brand new, amen? So your guilt is taken away. That what stood out to me, so I highlighted it up here. The obligation, uh, the more clearly Isaiah saw God, the more aware Isaiah became of his own powerlessness and inadequacy to do anything of lasting value without God. But he knew was willing to be God's spokesman. When God calls, will you also say, here I am, send me. So when God calls for you, are you going to be ready? Are you going to be ready for God or are you going to sit there and be scared? Are you going to be ready? You have to be ready for Father God. Amen. So down here, it says application. I hope you guys can see it. It says, let go and let God use me to the fullest. Everyone cannot go on the mission with me. Stay focused. When you are placing your faith in whatever religion that you believe in, uh, we talked about this uh, a lot of times on my channel as well as my other channel. Um, when you start to shift and start changing, a lot of people are not going to go with you. You're going to have some people that's happy for you. You're going to have people that's not happy for you. You're going to have people that come at you that don't even know you and attack you just because of your belief and your religion. Amen. So just let go and let God and you just stay encouraged and stay on path with your mission. Amen. So I do have my prayer on the back, but I'm not going to read it, you guys. So the prayers, y'all going to see those because I'm going to do those in like a flip book when I get through with this um entire 12 days you guys will see um the prayers as i flip through them so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see y'all in day three shalom